The following is a Cable 14 special presentation. The city of Hamilton is situated upon the traditional territories of the Erie, Neutral, Huron-Wendat, Haudenosaunee, and Mississaugas. This land is covered by the Dish with One Spoon Wampum Belt Covenant, which was an agreement between the Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabek to share and care for the resources around the Great Lakes. We further acknowledge that this land is covered by the Between the Lakes purchase in 1792 between the Crown and the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation. Today, the city of Hamilton is home to many indigenous people from across Turtle Island, and we recognize that we must do more to learn about the rich history of this land so that we can better understand our roles as residents, neighbors, partners, and caretakers. Thank you. Thank you so much. Miigwech. Anyawa. The Order of Hamilton is a lifelong designation, and there's no shortage of deserving people, as I've already said, uh, here. And it's one of the things I love most about our city of Hamilton. I was talking about that as I came in uh, earlier this evening. Our amazing people uh, and our strong sense of community that we share uh, throughout this city. This is one of our greatest attribute, attributes as a, as a city, that, uh, that strong sense of community that we continue to hold. I did want to get um, get now to the um, the important part of the evening that honors the recipients uh, that we're honoring tonight. And I want to say that uh, in each of the communities that I've mentioned, we are going to be honoring uh, you know, various recipients. In some cases, people weren't able to uh, necessarily attend the uh, the levy on. Uh, the date that it's happening in their community, and so uh, and so they've made other arrangements either for tonight or for other uh, other of the dates. Uh, but we are going to start with our first recipient, uh, who is Bill Custers. So, Bill, please come forward, and I'm going to talk a little bit about what uh, what it is that uh, that we're honoring you for. Bill sees no distinction between work and community service. As a senior manager at Cable 14, Bill combines his on-the-job skills with a passion for helping others. Early on in the pandemic, Bill recognized a need to get as much information out to the public, both consistently and effectively. This was no easy task. We had never been in a situation quite like this. This did not dissuade Bill. In fact, it strengthened his resolve. He made himself available to the city of Hamilton around the clock producing more than 125 media briefings. And when the city went virtual, Bill was the person who created that platform. Some of, Bill, of Bill's pet projects through Cable 14 have been 14 Ways to Feed the Hammer and the Kiwanis TV Bingo Food Share Campaign. Bill has harnessed the power of community television to raise awareness of such important issues as food insecurity and inspired volunteerism. He does this year after year always thinking of new and inventive ways to remind the community of those in need. And it's for all of these reasons, and so many more, that I'm honored to name Bill Custers, Custers to the Order of Hamilton. Correct. Congratulations. <laughs> Our next, uh, so congratulations to Bill, and uh, and again, our community. I don't think would have been able to get through the, you know, the the pandemic as we did without the uh, the diligence and the commitment that Bill brought to all of us. Uh, our next recipient of the Order of Hamilton is Mike Moore. For decades, so Mike can come up, and I'll start to talk a little bit about what Mike uh, has done. Mike. Now, I know none of you folks are shy because you do so much work in the community. You're just out there doing things all the time. So I'm, uh, I'm happy to uh, have you come up as I tell everyone uh, so that they can see who you are as I tell them the things that you've been uh, doing for our community and in our community. For decades, Mike has volunteered for many organizations, uh, not-for-profits and charities. These include Hope for Haiti, the Gleaners, and the Hamilton Challenger Baseball Association. Uh, the HCBA was created 32 years ago uh, as an adapted baseball program for persons living with disabilities. Mike's dedication to the HCBA is absolutely incredible. His keen sense of board governments, governance and fundraising took a struggling organization and built it up to what it is today, a vibrant, 
well-run program of 200 players and 12 teams. That's pretty, that's pretty awesome. Mike has fostered strong relationships with outside baseball organizations such as Jay's Care and the Hamilton Cardinals. His community service impact can also be seen at Inch Park, where he has worked to make it fully accessible for all players and is currently working with the city and the HCBA to make Inch Park a fully access accessible destination playground. What sets Mike apart is his ability to inspire the spirit of volunteerism in others. He leads by example and should be an example to all of us. Thank you for all you do for our community, Mike. I'm proud to name you to the Order of Hamilton. Congratulations, Mike. We have Karen Nelson, our third recipient of the Order of Hamil Hamilton. So Karen, if you could come uh, up here to receive your, um, your medal, that would be much appreciated. Oh, there you are, yay. All right. Karen has been involved in volunteerism and community building for the past 30 years with a focus on recreational programming for children and youth, particularly for those living in underserved neighborhoods. Karen is the co-founder of the Hamilton Youth Steel Orchestra, HYSO. Hi, So. Hi, So is a well-known fixture in the Hamilton music scene. Not only are they well-known for their award-winning sounds, they are a cherished community organization. Hi, So's mission is to create positive social cohesion and development, introduce young people to the art of steel pan playing, and to provide the opportunity for civic participation. Not only does Karen volunteer her time to HISO, but since 2004, 350 participants have volunteered their time through performances and community events. She has been the volunteer treasurer for the Trinidad and Tobago Association of Hamilton for six years. Uh, above and beyond the financial duties as treasurer, Karen created culturally relevant summer camps for children of Caribbean heritage, summer employment for post-secondary students, and programming for adults. Throughout all of her volunteer work, Karen has used her accounting and auditing knowledge to ensure the success of the organizations she supports and to assist in community-run volunteer tax clinics. Karen, we thank you for your decades of community. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say one thing. Uh, I had the opportunity to read through all of the uh, nominations and I have to say, it, it helps to have the university profs writing some of your, uh, uh, your nominations because I gotta say, I was like reading a novel, but, it was, but there was so much material in, in it uh, in terms of the, the, what you've brought to the community that, um, that it, could, it could actually be published as a novel. So, so good on you. <laughs> and I wanna thank you for your three decades of service to our community, uh, for building uh, volunteerism, uh, all of the things that have left such a legacy in our, uh, for our city and in our city that you've done over the decades. It is sincerely my honor to name you to the Order of Hamilton. Congratulations. And finally, I'm delighted to present our last Order of Hamilton Award uh, of this evening to Dr. Stephen Zizzo. Uh, since the beginning of his career, Dr. Zizzo, Dr. Zizzo, here you are. Uh, <laughs> Since the beginning of his career, Dr. Zizzo has always combined his training in medicine with volunteer community service. During the height of the pandemic, Dr. Zizzo stepped up in an extraordinary way when he saw the urgent need for an increased vaccine supply. Dr. Zizzo volunteered his clinic, Winterberry Medicine, to deliver high volume capacity to Hamilton Public Health. Dr. Zizzo spent his own personal resources to set up and run one of the largest private COVID-19 immunization clinics in Canada. Wow. He also took on patients from other practices, disadvantaged, high risk, and otherwise vulnerable communities. Whoever needed a vaccine was welcome at his medical clinic. 
Hamiltonians, thank you, Dr. Zizzo, for your service that kept thousands of members of our community protected and healthy during the pandemic. It's not really past tense, unfortunately, though, because we're still struggling uh, with, uh, with the pandemic, but it's the work that you do, the passion that you bring, uh, the love of our community, and the obligation, I think, as a, as a physician that you, uh, that you show not only in the work that you do, but in, in stepping up and volunteering in the way that you did providing those resources that, that really uh, is extremely meaningful for the people of Hamilton. Uh, so I am proud to name you to the Order of Hamilton. Thank you and congratulations. And so that does, uh, that does complete the Order of Hamilton um, uh, awards for tonight. Uh, again, Life, lifelong recognition for people who, in many cases, have spent a life, a lifelong um, effort at making our, our community a better place, at supporting uh, our neighbors and our friends uh, and our community. And so just thank you all so very, very much uh, for that amazing work. And to all the people who nominated folks, uh, this is an annual award. And so every year, spread the word. We're always looking for, uh, for more nominees uh, because as you know, in a city like ours, there are lots of people uh, that deserve uh, this award. And I was really, really happy to be able to, tonight, for the first time, uh, so far, as mayor of the city of Hamilton, uh, be here with you uh, to um, to have this incredible evening of recognition. There were five other recipients of this year's Order of Hamilton that were not present at the mayor's levy at City Hall. They are Janice Lucas, Jeffrey Ng, and Binky Yang, Sid Stacy, and Kathy Ferreira. Congratulations to all of this year's Order of Hamilton recipients.